In a world where every choice shapes our destiny, a hidden force works silently, weaving the webs that limit our potential. Today we will reveal how the devil, a metaphorical concept for the forces that hinder us from thriving, is manipulating your life without you realizing it. In this video, we will delve into the depths of how our fears, doubts and the environment around us act as invisible chains, limiting our personal growth and success. But make no mistake, this devil does not reside in the shadows or in ancient tales. It dwells in the subtleties of our everyday lives, in moments of hesitation and in opportunities lost due to fear of taking risks. Discover how to identify and break these invisible chains that bind us. Together, we will explore strategies to regain control of your life, transforming fear into courage, doubt into certainty, and ultimately step by step, how you can free yourself from these shackles and pave the way towards true prosperity. Our journey towards prosperity and success is often hindered by a silent and invisible enemy. This adversary is not an external opponent, but a force that resides within us and around us, weaving a web of fear, doubt and indecision. These invisible chains are the barriers that limit our personal and spiritual growth and prevent us from reaching our true potential. External forces include the social, cultural and educational environment in which we grow and live. They shape our beliefs and perceptions about what is possible, often instilling a mindset of scarcity, fear of failure or the belief that success is reserved only for a chosen few. These influences can discourage us from taking risks or seeking new opportunities, keeping us in a cycle of conformity and mediocrity. Internally, the chains are even more subtle and therefore more dangerous. The fear of not being good enough, doubt about our abilities and chronic indecision can paralyze our actions and keep us trapped in a reality that does not reflect our true aspirations. These internal barriers are fueled by past experiences, failures, and the inner critical voice that questions every step we wish to take towards our dreams. Do you remember any time you missed out on a good opportunity because of fear or indecision? The first step to freeing yourself from these shackles is to acknowledge them. This requires honest self-assessment and a willingness to confront your own shadows. Ask yourself, what fears have been holding me back? What doubts constantly whisper in my mind? When does indecision prevent me from taking action? By bringing these questions to light, you begin to see the chains that bind you. And with this awareness, you can start working to free yourself from them, challenging your limiting beliefs, facing your fears, and making decisions aligned with your true desires and goals. Freeing yourself from invisible chains is an act of courage and an ongoing journey of personal growth. It involves replacing fear with self-belief, doubt with certainty in your abilities, and indecision with determined action. By freeing yourself from these shackles, you not only pave the way for material prosperity, but also for a life of satisfaction, meaning, and personal and spiritual fulfillment. In our journey through life, one of the greatest obstacles we face is fear. This feeling, often irrational, serves as the preferred tool of the devil on our path, an invisible architect who uses fear to shape our decisions and actions, keeping us away from success and personal fulfillment. Fear has many faces. Fear of failure, the unknown, rejection, loss. It infiltrates our minds, whispering doubts and creating catastrophic scenarios that rarely come to fruition. This feeling is an effective tool used to control us, as it attacks at the most basic level of the human psyche, leading us to avoid risks and new opportunities under the pretext of self-preservation. In the shadows, the devil uses fear to keep us in states of inertia and conformity. It makes us fear the judgment of others, convinces us that we are not capable, and dissuades us from pursuing our boldest dreams. This fear-based control is perpetuated by cultural messages, the media, acquaintances, and even the educational system, which often emphasizes security at the expense of passion and innovation. Start paying attention to people who watch a lot of news programs with many negative news stories. Typically, these individuals live in constant fear and negativity, always expecting the worst, even when it doesn't make sense. Therefore, always be careful about what kind of content you are consuming. To break free from the grip of fear, 
It is essential to recognize when it is influencing our decisions. Ask yourself, am I avoiding this action out of fear or through a rational assessment of the risks? Facing fear head on is the first step to demystifying it. This involves deliberately exposing oneself in manageable doses to the situations we fear, a practice known as desensitization. Fear doesn't have to be an enemy. When understood and managed correctly, it can become a driving force that propels us forward. It can be a sign that we are about to step out of our comfort zone, a prerequisite for growth and learning. Transforming fear requires a shift in perspective. Instead of seeing it as an obstacle, we can view it as an indicator that we are on the path of personal evolution. True freedom comes when we learn to act despite fear. Making decisions based on our values, desires and goals, rather than giving in to fear, is the path to true fulfillment. Every courageous action, no matter how small, is a victory over the devil that tries to control us through fear. With each bold step, we reinforce our courage and build a life of authentic prosperity and satisfaction. Within the human mind, there are two other treacherous forces that work together to keep us stagnant, doubt and procrastination. These elements form a vicious cycle of inaction, functioning as true traps that prevent us from moving forward towards our goals and dreams. Doubt arises from internal uncertainties, often fueled by unfounded fears and negative past experiences. It questions our ability, worth, and even the merit of our goals, creating a haze of hesitation that obscures our vision and conviction. Subtly, doubt makes us wonder if we are worthy of success or happiness, undermining our self-confidence and determination. Procrastination is the behavioral response to doubt. When the mind is clouded by uncertainty, delaying action seems like a safe refuge. However, this procrastination only perpetuates the state of paralysis, preventing any significant progress. The reasons for procrastination are many and varied, from aversion to the task to fear of failure. Subtle and seemingly harmless things like constantly checking social media or obsessing over perfectionism divert us from our true purposes. Recognizing doubt and procrastination as ego defense mechanisms is the first step to breaking the cycle. This awareness allows us to actively challenge these patterns of thinking and behavior. Setting clear and divisible goals can help overcome procrastination. By breaking large objectives into smaller, more manageable tasks, we reduce the sense of overwhelm that often leads to procrastination. Action is the antidote to doubt and procrastination. Taking small consistent steps, even in the face of uncertainty, builds momentum that can gradually dissipate the haze of doubt. The practice of self-observation and mindfulness can help identify when we are procrastinating and encourage us to refocus on activities that bring us closer to our goals. Developing mental resilience through positive affirmations, success visualizations, and gratitude for progress, no matter how small, strengthens the mind against doubt and procrastination. Facing challenges and failures, not as defeats, but as opportunities for learning and growth, can transform how we respond to doubt and the tendency to procrastinate. The journey towards personal growth and prosperity is not just a battle against internal insecurities, but also against external influences. Remarkably, traditional education and the environment in which we live can, without us realizing, act as barriers to the development of critical thinking and independence. Often, the educational system is designed to promote the absorption of knowledge rather than encourage questioning and intellectual exploration. This can lead to a conformity mindset where students learn to accept information without questioning it, limiting their ability to think independently. The emphasis on memorization and standardized test results can stifle creativity and innovation, essential components for success and prosperity in a constantly changing world. Beyond education, the social and cultural environment can reinforce these limitations. Social norms, family expectations and peer pressure play a significant role in shaping our beliefs and behaviors, often discouraging deviations from the safe and traditional path. This environmental conformity 
creates an invisible barrier around individual potential, causing many to abandon their true dreams and aspirations in favor of safer yet less fulfilling paths. To break free from these limiting influences, it is crucial to develop a sense of critical thinking and independence. Actively questioning received information, seeking multiple sources of knowledge, and cultivating curiosity are essential steps in developing a more open and autonomous mind. Encouraging education that values critical thinking, problem solving, and project-based learning can provide the necessary tools to navigate and thrive in an ever-evolving environment. In addition to seeking alternative education, it is vital to create a personal environment that fosters growth and innovation. This includes surrounding yourself with people who challenge your ideas and promote personal development, as well as seeking out experiences that expand your worldview. Adopting a growth mindset, where challenges are seen as learning opportunities, can dramatically transform how you interact with the world around you. True freedom begins the moment we decide to cut the ties of conventions and others' expectations, embracing self-reliance and independent thinking. This path of self-confidence and autonomy allows us to live a life defined by our own choices, values and aspirations. Self-reliance does not mean isolation or rejection of external help, but rather the ability to trust oneself to make decisions and solve problems. Start by identifying areas of your life where you feel dependent or insecure and set goals to develop skills or knowledge that increase your independence. Practices such as establishing a personal budget, learning to cook healthy meals or acquiring new professional skills are practical steps to increase your self-reliance. Independent thinking is the ability to critically question information and form opinions based on one's own analysis rather than simply accepting the general consensus. To develop it, start by diversifying your sources of information, engaging with different viewpoints and seeking to understand the arguments behind divergent opinions. Encourage dialogue and healthy debate, both internally and with others, as a way to test and refine your ideas and beliefs. Many of the limitations we face are the result of social norms and beliefs that we internalize. Questioning these norms and beliefs is essential to breaking free from limiting thought patterns. Allow yourself to question everything, from cultural truths to family and personal expectations. Ask yourself, does this serve my growth and happiness? Does this reflect who I want to be? The growth mindset is the belief that your fundamental qualities are things you can cultivate through your efforts. View failures and challenges not as signs of inability, but as opportunities for learning and development. Celebrating small victories on the path to larger goals can reinforce confidence in your own abilities and encourage continued personal effort. Breaking free from the shackles of conformity and dependence is an ongoing journey of self-discovery, courage and determination. It requires a willingness to face the unknown and the ability to remain true to yourself even when challenged by others or circumstances. On the path to self-sufficiency and liberation from the invisible chains that restrict us, the company we choose to have by our side plays a crucial role. Being surrounded by positive and constructive minds is not only a source of inspiration, but a foundation for personal growth and prosperity. The people around us profoundly influence our thinking, beliefs, and, by extension, our actions. Strategic alliances with individuals who share a growth mindset and optimism can propel us forward, challenging us to overcome limits and achieve larger goals. These alliances offer emotional support, valuable advice, and sometimes even practical resources. More than that, they provide living examples of perseverance and success, showing us that our aspirations are attainable. Choosing who you spend your time with is a strategic decision. Seek out people who not only support your goals, but also bring out the best in you. This includes mentors, motivated colleagues, and friends who encourage your journey of personal development. Being in the company of positive people doesn't mean avoiding all negativity, but rather cultivating a social circle that prioritizes resilience, problem solving, and an optimistic outlook on challenges. While building positive alliances, it's also essential to learn to shield yourself from negative influences. This may mean establishing healthy boundaries or, in some cases, distancing yourself from toxic relationships that drain energy and undermine self-confidence. 
Developing the ability to discern when a relationship is harmful is vital to maintaining your trajectory toward personal growth. Strategic alliances require care and reciprocity. Actively contribute to others' growth, just as they contribute to yours. This creates a dynamic of mutual support, where everyone involved is encouraged to thrive. Celebrate your allies' victories with the same joy as you celebrate your own. This shared positivity strengthens bonds and reinforces commitment to common goals. Creating and maintaining strategic alliances with positive minds is a fundamental step and a powerful weapon against the devil on the journey to personal freedom and prosperity. These relationships enrich our lives, provide support in challenging times, and remind us of the power of collaboration and mutual support. Overcoming the barriers that prevent us from achieving prosperity requires a deliberate and strategic approach. Inspired by the principles of Napoleon Hill's Outwitting the Devil, we can adopt a series of tactics to transcend the devil's control tactics. These include developing a clear vision, setting goals, perseverance, and practicing gratitude and generosity. According to Hill, having a clear vision of what you want to achieve is essential. This vision serves as a guide, directing your decisions and actions. Dedicate time to deeply reflect on your true desires and aspirations, visualizing not only the goals, but also the impact their achievement will have on your life and others. Goals transform your vision into a tangible action plan. Use the SMART method, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound, to define your goals, making them clear and attainable. Napoleon Hill emphasizes the importance of setting goals that align with your passion and purpose, as this significantly increases the chances of success. The journey to prosperity is fraught with challenges. Hill reminds us that perseverance is key to overcoming these obstacles. View each failure as an opportunity for learning and a step toward your personal development. Stay steadfast in your efforts, keeping your vision and goals always in focus. Gratitude is a powerful tool for cultivating a positive outlook. Appreciating the blessings and lessons learned along the way not only enriches your journey, but also attracts more positivity into your life. Generosity amplifies your prosperity. By sharing your successes and resources, you not only benefit others, but also reinforce your own path of growth, creating a virtuous cycle of generosity and abundance. Overcoming negative influences and internal challenges requires a combination of self-awareness, strategy and action. Drawing inspiration from Napoleon Hill's Outwitting the Devil, we can use these practical tactics to confront the devil in our lives, paving the way for an existence of prosperity, fulfilment and genuine success. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and leave your like. And take the opportunity to watch our other video that is appearing on the screen right now. Have a great day.